This is the splendor that is the Isle of Skye. Scenery that stars in Hollywood films. <laughs> tops lists of must-see places. I heard someone say yesterday that down the pier yesterday reminded him of central London. One of tourism's worst kept secrets. They come on cruise ships, coaches. Is that what we're here for? They only said 10 minutes. Tightly timetable tourism. I've seen it. I'm gone. <laughs> Car parks are overflowing with visitors in search of the sublime. The perfect picture. And then a bed for the night. Now, this is what so many people travel so far to come and see. What you don't see here are houses. There are a finite number of homes on this island. And what islanders tell us is that the more tourists that come, the more holiday lets there are, and the harder it is for the people who make this place tick to find a place to call home. And what do you think of this? That's very cool. Something <laughs> yeah. special. Yeah? How about this view? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Travel apps and websites are making this remote place accessible in a way it never was before. Where did you find the bed and breakfast? By Booking. Booking.com. Booking.com. Airbnb. Airbnb. Yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Airbnb is a hit on this island. Airbnb. Yes. Yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah. mainly. Easy? Yeah. Easy. The best place. <laughs> Ever more islanders are letting out their rooms and homes to holidaymakers. Tonight, Airbnb has revealed to us the scale of its business on Sky last year. 550 listings on an island of under 5,000 households, according to the last census. That's roughly one Airbnb for every eight homes. You don't want to leave here, do you, really? No, not really. I grew up in Paisley, so when you come up to a place like this, this is paradise. Mm. <laughs> so it's lovely. If you could find a way of stopping here. Definitely. I'd quite like to push here as long as I possibly can. Fisherman Ryan doesn't have a place of his own, so he sleeps on the boat or at his mum and dad's. More than 300 households on this island are on the council waiting list for accommodation. 63 families are homeless. You're looking for somewhere? Yeah, yeah. But it, is there anywhere? Not that I've found, not yet, no. Kat is a kitchen manager. She has to leave her rental and needs a landlord who will still let to locals. A lot of the private rents, the landlords are terminating leases and contracts so that they can then put it onto the self-catering market and the holiday market and make money, which is fantastic for Sky that people are coming and the place is a total boom as far as the tourist injury is concerned. But if we don't look after the local people and the people that work here, then we're not going to have the staff to facilitate all these tourists coming up. So we just, it, it, it's all going to fall down. Airbnb says it accounts for only 4% of visitors to Sky and up to 97% of accommodation costs go into the pockets of local residents. The Highland Council says 130 new affordable or social homes will soon be built. But as we drive into the heart of Sky, we pass the embers of a wildfire. And the only full-time fireman on this island tells us he bunks where he can. He can't find anywhere to live. When we visit, we don't even see a hotel room available. We find one solitary holiday let. It belongs to David, farmer, deer stalker, Airbnb host. Well, this is Barbie, the spotted face one. OK. And this is Megan. It's quite a unique lifestyle we have here. You know, so. yeah. Do people feel that they've... I don't know. Lived a little part of that at least. When yes, I, I think so. Yes, yes. Well, some go away with a tear in their eye. So. Really? Yes. Yeah. You, you, you can't do this at a hotel. Can no, you? no, definitely not. No. David and his wife live up the road. They used to let this house annually, but they've embraced Airbnb. So, what prompted you to to do it? Uh, well, supply and demand, really. <laughs> What's happening is everyone's jumping on the bandwagon. An 81% increase in Airbnbs listed in the Highlands area last year caught this man's attention. 
He studies the effects of Airbnb type services on communities. I don't really think anyone, you know, 15 years ago could have imagined a typical Sky Croft or having the Airbnb app on their phone and connecting with people all over the world to rent out the Croft house. Is it sustainable? is the kind of question that's arising here and, and elsewhere. Now, it's quite a common issue in many popular cities like Edinburgh and Barcelona and Amsterdam, but in more rural locations like this, people are now realising that maybe the balance has tipped. People here aren't pointing the finger in one single direction. We keep hearing that they want and need tourists to come, but they also tell us they want a better way of sharing the magnificence of this island with the world. Visitors may not see it, but the islanders do. Sky is changing. Kieran Jenkins, Channel 4 News, on the Isle of Skye.